Hey y'all. I'm over here cleaning my room, making my bed and stuff. I got these kids, my my baby, my niece, my other baby. But I just wanted to tell y'all, um, this not for everybody. It's not for everybody at all. Hmm. Find you something to do. And find something to do. Go play. Goodbye. Some of y'all. They killed you. They killed you. Like, they real life murdered you. Destroyed you. Tore you down. Um, to the point of no return. Some of y'all has left y'all with lifelong scars. Lifelong trauma. Um, the worst of the worst. Like, um. Noah, come on. It was very, very, very bad. All right, who want to whoop him first? Don't run. Look at him. That's your cousin? That's your friend? That's your friend? He left and ran, and he done left you in here by yourself. So if I start whooping folks, leave that baby alone. She's asleep. Go find something to do. Find some toys or something. Matter of fact, clean up. Go on over there and clean up. He left you by yourself. You clean up by yourself. Go clean up. Put them toys up. Over there. Some of y'all went through some real life stuff, you know, and you've earned your, your wings to fly. You've earned the right to fly. You have earned, you, you earned your heavenly wings. Like you, you, you was literally killed, killed. And you'll never be the same. You'll never think the same. You'll never look at life the same. You'll never be able to socialize the same. You'll never be able to interact the same because of all the things that they did to you. Because of all the pain that you have endured. Because of all the stress and, and just, you, you will never be the same. You can't even function the same. You can't even work the same. You can't even love the same. You can't even talk the same. Your mind is forever changed. Your heart is forever changed. And if it was not for the grace of God, for the grace of God, you will be in a mental institution somewhere or you will be dead somewhere or you will be in jail somewhere. You will be on drugs somewhere. You you would just be distressing. Uh, I said distressing. That's still a word, I think. I done made it up. Distressing. Depressing. Child. Depression and stress would have taken you out of here anxiety would have taken you out of here would have taken you up out of here um some of y'all would really have lived a debilitating life like things just crumbling some of y'all is walking around here real life handicap and 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 you know people like to make fun of people and say special needs that's a crazy person that's a special needs person but some of y'all is real life special needs you you need to be Special, cared for in a special way. You can't tolerate nobody talking down to you. You can't tolerate nobody being mean to you, mistreating you, using you, abusing you. You can't handle it. You can't handle nobody hitting you because you might turn up. Who's that? You, 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 you might, you might go crazy. You might. You might. You can't um deal with domestic violence. Where's you can't deal with somebody taking advantage of you using your body, you know, and 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 mishandling you in a sexual way. You can't handle that. It'll it'll destroy your mind and your self esteem. You might snap. Some of y'all, these folks in this world, these evil, wicked folks, then tore you apart like like a dog tearing meat apart. Somebody literally died. You died. You know, I try to get my money out. You trying to get your money out? Uh-huh. I thought you said you was going to buy me something with this $5. Uh-huh. So open this top. Okay, I'm going to open it. But what you going to buy me with the $5? A car in the house. A car in the house? And not you, no. Dang, you trying to get your $5 out. And you said you going to buy me a car in the house. My boy going to buy me a car in the house with $5. And I have to buy another car because... 
Uh, hey, y'all not finna art fight over no toys in here. Stop taking stuff out of her hand. That's a girl. Don't do that. Okay. Don't take nothing out of her hand. No. no, give it back to her. Give it back to her. That's a lady. You be a gentleman. Don't take nothing out of her hand. Don't snatch nothing from her. Here your money. It's wet. Ugh. Get that money, boy. Get that money out of my bed. Oh, all right, get off my bed, children. Hey, y'all, y'all gonna get on my nerves. Go clean up. Find something to clean up some toys or something. Find something to do. I'm gonna walk around here in rain boots. <laughs> Just clicking down the hall. Some of y'all real life died. Like, you walking, you talking, you breathing. You still carrying on. You still trying. But you actually passed away. You actually passed away. It's some things that broke you so bad and hurt you so bad to where it, it killed you. It killed you. Like, I'm talking about a murder scene in the spirit. You know? And it's nothing but the grace of God that turned your life around and that turned the situation around. And, and, and at that moment, God came and picked you up himself. He picked up your lifeless body, your dead body. He covered you in his arms and his grace and his warmth. He showed you his word. He showed you the light. He showed you I'm here. I'm right here. And that's why God rolled off your tongue the way he do. That's why you can't keep God out of your mouth. That's why you seeking so much. That's why you, you can forgive people though they do you dirty and you don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want to talk to them. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you nothing. But I allow you to come around here and there. Just by the grace of God, you know, I forgive you, but I don't fool with you. I don't fool with you. That's how you moving, you know. Um, I forgive you, and I'm ready to walk away from you, and the relationship is done. But I'm still trying to talk to you every now and then and hope that God heals something because I know he can heal anything. And, and you know, if you're still in my life and able to see me, physically see me, then maybe God got something for us, you know, to work on or something. I don't know, until he snatched you up out my life. You know, some of y'all are just real loving and caring and you've been used and abused so much that it became normal in a sense. Chaos became normal. Pain became normal. You ever seen somebody with a high pain tolerance? Your tolerance for pain was outrageous. It is outrageous. You know? Some of y'all is numb to pain. Your favorite word is, I don't care. It don't matter to me. Some of y'all, it's just easy for you to get up and walk off. It's easy for you to pack up and leave. I leave. I go. Bye. Bye. You done fighting for stuff. You done trying to hold on to things. You know? And it's because of everything that you've been through. You at a place where you just want peace. I just want love. I just want happiness. But you understand that every day ain't going to be a good day, which is okay. You know? But... For the most part, you just want family. You want love. And some of y'all ain't even got family for real. Family turned their backs on you. Mommy! She just saw you leave. She just saw you leave. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. You got her milk for I think her jug in the refrigerator. Okay. Maka! Okay. Get up out of here. She fine. Oh, okay. I got her. Now look at her. Come on, Nova, come play. Get out of her face. I told you to stare at a woman's face. Why would you come in here? Nova, stop that crying. Close my door. 
and bring her back. Her mama just left. That my sister. Her mama just left. I'm gonna come in here and now. She see us. She hung. I'm like, child, she was just playing on my bed. I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. But oh, family turned it back on you. Your lover abandoned you. You know, dogged you out. In your most vulnerable moments, nobody was really there for you. You having breakdowns, going to somebody. I just need somebody. Somebody. Just don't leave me. Just stay with me. Somebody. Somebody just stay with me. Nobody's staying. Everybody leaving. Everybody walking away. Everybody pulling you out. Everybody telling you to get out. Some of y'all was in vulnerable positions where you stand with folks and you just trying to hold on to somebody. I just need somebody. We can run away together. Though. I, I just need somebody. Get out. Child, you have earned your right to fly. Mm-hmm. Swaddle and keep her calm. Where's that dino nails? Dino Girl, shut up. These is... Baby, first off, these is my real nails. These are my real... These are real. I know. So, I just like... I like round shape. I went to the, to the folks, and they, they ain't shaping round. Come on, TV. Yeah, y'all, look. Everybody talking to me too much. Everybody talking to me too much. You're doing too much. I'm sorry. I don't like to be talked to that much. Here, get these tips. So you've earned your right to fly. You know? No, no. Anyway, I just wanted to come say that. You know, where your family and friends should have been there for you. Nobody was there for you. Everybody judged you and talked about you. Some of y'all was having mental breakdowns right in front of people, scared, afraid. You know, people just coming at you. See, some of these folks, they was hitting you with their hands. Hey, we ain't doing no crying in here. Leave her alone. You don't tell her what to do. You fall, she too. You ain't her boss. Be quiet. Find you something to do. Some of these people, oh, keep making me forget what I'm saying. Uh. Some of these people was hitting you with their hands, you know, true enough, you know, fighting you, things like that. But some of these people were fighting you, and that's in a way that it's worse than somebody putting their hands on you because they attacking you with their mouth. They just, some of y'all didn't been talked down to since y'all was children. You've been yelled at since a child. You've been, some of us, it's just natural to us to yell. We don't realize that yelling, ah, 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 it's like a barking dog all day. But it's in your nature to yell, so I want to tell you to be mindful of that. You know, just I try to be mindful, but sometimes I just be yelling to these children, these children. But anyway, um, but yeah, like so many people been attacking you with their words, talking about you, bringing up stuff from your childhood, bringing up stuff from your past, bringing up your your past relationships, bringing up your failures, bringing up things. Oh, you are you 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 you, you, you know just it's just it's horrible. These folks is attacking you and abusing you verbally. And they don't even understand. I don't even want to deal with you. I don't want to talk to you. What you saying to me is like if if you can't put your hands on me, you are gonna use your words to beat me. To beat me down. To punch me. You give me a black eye every time you open your eye. I mean, your mouth. Every time you open your mouth, you 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 stab me in the back. Every time you mad, you get to throw up something that happened in my past. You bring up my past relationships. You bring up my failures. You bring up my shortcomings. You bring up the things I lack. Oh, you ain't even got. That's why you, you need, you know, people, people, people do things like that. But yet they forget. And, and don't look at the, the, they don't live in their truth. You dogging me out, but what, what can I say about you that's actually true that you live in today? You know, they want to bring up your past to beat you, but, but what about today? Because we can bring up some today things, some in the now moment things, and, and you ain't better. 
you know, that's how people are, you know, and, you know, some of y'all, you just still taking the leaks, taking the leaks, taking the leaks, taking the leaks, people still, they get on the phone cussing you out, they come, they could get in face to face cussing you out, you know, grandparents, mothers, fathers, ch children's parents, friends, cousins, no. aunties, uncles, listen, y'all finna get on my nerves, I don't want to hear no whining. Leave her alone. I ain't no TV right now. Find something to do. Do something. Do something. Don't go out my door. Close my door. All right. No. Nova, come on. Nova, get back in here. Come on. Both. Childy children. I want a bunch of children. I only got two right now. And then I got my niece. This is like practice for me, but they don't listen. They two and four. Hey, come in here. Breaking my heart, sweet Jesus. That's what they doing. They breaking my heart. Come on in here. Okay. Come on now. Bye. That's all we need. Bye. Grace, leave that girl alone. Then Nova, come on, Nova. And Grayson, sit down and play with some toys. Y'all was gonna watch TV. Do something productive. Do something with children. Do play, play. Get some toys and play. Don't well, look at the screen all day. I don't watch TV. Yeah, I ain't cutting it on right now because I don't want to. I don't want to watch TV. So go find some toys. Get get some toys out the uh thing. Where your alphabet thing? Didn't I say do some ABCs? Leave her alone. She got her some toys. Listen, y'all finna stress me out. You too big to act like that. She playing with toys like I said. You find you something to play with. He can't be loony. But you know, some of these people, they still, they still killing you. They run around here trying to kill your reputation. Running to this person, telling this person that thing, telling me. Then some of these folk passing judgments on you. Don't even know what you've been through. Don't know what you came through. Don't know who they looking at. Don't know nothing about you, but they can talk about you and sit with the next person. You know what? One thing about it, I'm going to tell you the trick of the enemy, right? They'll, they'll sit around. And, and gossip and, and group up and talk about you and, and say say X Y Z about you, but you know what? Guess what? All glory goes to God, cause everything they talk about is a lie pertaining you. You know they could pass judgment and say well, what they think you should be doing, how they think you should be doing it. But you didn't learn so much that you move in silence. So when they don't hear nothing. They don't hear you telling them your plans no more. You ain't telling them how much money you got saved up. You're not telling them what your next move is. You're not telling them where you're headed, where you're going, how you're doing it. So they think you ain't got nothing going on. They think you don't do nothing. That's my cup. They think you, and, and if that's not the case, they think you're acting funny. They think you're being weird. You're too quiet. You're too closed this, off. This is my Well, when I had you in my life and my business, you didn't treat me right. You know, we got to be mindful of people and treat folks right. Like I said, some of y'all now already died. Y'all done already passed away. And if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Christ coming to get you, if it wasn't for you getting saved, if it wasn't for you giving your life to Christ, because, you know, when you give your life to Christ, you know, and you go through the process, you're reborn again. The old things have passed away. So it was nothing. Some of y'all was on the verge of taking your life. Taking your own life. Because of all the things that people were saying to you. They, you're dumb. You're stupid. you talking about your appearance. Talking about your looks. You know? Yeah. Put, put my Going to work. Me. People put acting funny with you. Mistreating you on the job. I'm just trying to get a... Oh, shit. You acting funny? You know? I'm just in here trying to work to make it for my kids. Some of y'all were working sun up to sun down. Tired. You know? Tired. Doing it all by yourself. Some of y'all don't ask nobody for help for real, for real no more because you learned that you can't depend on nobody. When you think you can depend on somebody, that's when they say, get out. That's when they try to hold it over your head. Well, I did this for you. You don't want nobody holding nothing over your head no more. You tired of that. You tired of... You tired of people bringing up what they done did and how they did it and telling other people what they do for you tired of that 
you tired of that. So guess what? I just won't ask you for nothing. I struggle by myself. I can do bad by myself. I lean on myself. And it ain't even about leaning on myself because I'm never alone. God got it. I'm trusting in God. I'm leaning on God. It's Christ in me. Greater is he that is in me. That's it. And it's only by the power of God that you get stuff done. It's only the grace of God. Man, get these children. I'm going to go, y'all, because I got one over here rattling something and another one driving some toy car and one sleep. Uh, I'm going to just go. I just came to talk to y'all for a second. I got to finish cleaning up and shower and get myself together and get these children together. Probably and, and listen to music. Get them some food and, and to let them listen to a little music. And I'll be back. I'll and, post a couple of words for y'all watch today. TV, watch TV and do some story, go to sleep. And that's it. Ha <laughs> ha. So I see y'all. That's my cousin.